Photosynthesis is a fundamental process that makes our existence possible. Without it, plants wouldn't grow and ecosystems would fail. Today, we're going to learn all about this process. You can use my Bioenergetics workbook alongside this video to get the most out of Eurovision time. It's got tons of tasks and pictures and exam questions to check what you've learned. The link is in the description below or head over to emmadeteachy.com. Photosynthesis is a fundamental process that has already come up in lots of earlier topics like cell biology. It's how plants harness the sun's energy to make food. And this happens in the green parts of the plant, like the leaves and the stem, in the chloroplasts these little green bits here. This is the word equation. Carbon dioxide plus water, arrow, and light can go along the arrow, glucose plus oxygen. We put light along the arrow because it's not a chemical, but it is a condition needed for photosynthesis to happen. If you're given a word fill with just two spaces, make sure you put in the chemicals and not light. Okay, let's look at where each of the reactants comes from. CO2 comes from the air around the leaf and diffuses in through the stomata and water comes from the soil and is absorbed by osmosis. You also need to know the chemical symbols for each of these substances. Carbon dioxide is just CO2, water is H2O, light we don't need to know because it's not a chemical, glucose is C6H12O6 and oxygen is O2. So make sure you have a go at memorizing those. Now, it isn't on the spec, but if you want to practice some chemistry skills, pause the video and try and balance this equation. We just put a 6 in front of everything that isn't glucose. Now, because light from the environment needs to be taken into the chloroplasts for photosynthesis to occur, we can describe it as an endothermic reaction. That's an important phrase to learn. It's endothermic because N means in, and light needs to be taken into the chloroplasts. And just a reminder that the chloroplasts contain chlorophyll, the green pigment, that's what's actually absorbing the light. Leaves are adapted to maximize the amount of photosynthesis that can take place. Pause the video and see how many adaptations you can spot in these two diagrams. We'll start with their shape you can see that it gives them a large surface area to absorb more light. They are thin to allow gases to diffuse in and out easily, and they have veins which contain the xylem to transport water and the phloem to transport glucose. It's important that glucose can move down the plant as well to the roots as they can't make their own glucose. They also have lots of guard cells on the underside of the leaf and these regulate gas exchange. The spongy mesophyll has air spaces, and again, these allow gases to diffuse easily. And finally, the palisade mesophyll tissue has many chloroplasts to maximize photosynthesis. All right, let's check what you've understood. Pause the video and try these quick questions, and when you're done, press play to go over the answers. One, how do plant leaves obtain or get the water they need for photosynthesis? And this is a link to topic one, cell biology. Water is taken in by the roots in the process of osmosis, and it's then transported by the xylem up through the plant to the leaves. You could expand your answer to say that this is possible because of the transpiration stream. The loss of water from the stomata in the leaves causes more water to be drawn up through the xylem. Okay, number two, complete the word equation below for photosynthesis, and then write the formula for each chemical directly below it. So on the left, we've got carbon dioxide plus water, and that can be in either order. And on the right is glucose plus oxygen. And if you want, you can write light along the arrow. And the formulas are CO2, H2O, C6H12O6, and O2. Three, some plants like pondweed are aquatic, which means they live underwater. Suggest how they obtain the CO2 needed for photosynthesis. Carbon dioxide is a gas, so it can dissolve into water. Therefore, aquatic plants get their carbon dioxide from the water around them. All right, how did you do on the questions? Learn about the factors affecting the rate of photosynthesis right here. 
And if you've enjoyed this, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It really supports me in getting my videos out to you and everybody else. Thanks and bye!